Hey, Bob, are you on your lunch break right now? Yeah, I am. What's going on? I got a message from your mother this morning. Really? What did she say? She scolded me because you didn't take your shirt to the dry cleaning. I see. What? You told me not to take your shirt to the dry cleaning. Didn't you? Did I? Yes, you did. You said it was a waste of money, so it was fine to use the washing machine at home. I think I forgot about that. How could you forget what you said? Thanks to you, your mother has been giving me a lot of crap about it. What did she say? She said that you are a good office worker, but you're forced to wear a lame shirt that I ironed. Don't you feel sorry for me? Oh, I'm sure mom is right. No way! I just did what you told me to do. Why should I listen to every single complaint by your mother? Anyway, it seems that your mother doesn't trust me at all. Hey, don't talk bad about my mom. I'm not bad-mouthing her, but... Well, you've been complaining about how mom has been treating you. Mom treated you that way because she was worried about me. You should understand that. It's your fault, isn't it? You forgot your own words. I know you're taking your mother's side. Don't blame me. She was just telling you to take my shirt to the dry cleaning. Why do you have to be so mad? I'm now aware that you have no love for me. That's not the point. Anyway, as for the shirt, you have to say something to your mother to fix this problem. Yeah, I got it. But you need to know that mom was saying the right thing. Yeah, whatever. Alright, look. I get it. You've been going off about how mom's been treating you lately. But hear me out. Mom treated you that way because she was freaking worried sick about me. It's not like she just randomly decided to be all mean and stuff. Can't you see where she's coming from? Ugh, don't even try to shift the blame onto me. You conveniently forgot your own words, didn't you? And now you're taking your mom's side. Seriously. Whoa, hold up. I'm not the one to blame here. Mom was just asking you to do a simple favor. Like taking my shirt to the dry cleaning. Why do you have to lose your cool over something so small? It's like you've completely run out of love for me or something. It's not just about the shirt, Bob. There's a bigger issue at hand. You need to step up and have a serious talk with your mom to fix this mess. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'll talk to mom. Okay? But you need to understand that mom wasn't totally off base with what she was saying. She had a point, you know? Oh, spare me the mom's always right speech. Whatever, I'm done with this conversation. Tina, can I have a minute with you? I'm at work, so I don't have much time. You always use work as your excuse. That's why you can't take care of my son well. Not again. I heard you complain to Bob yesterday. I asked him about the details. I didn't complain. I just told him the truth. Stop talking nonsense. You're always cutting corners and doing housework. And you also choose to work instead of taking care of your husband. I don't remember cutting corners for housework. And I'm taking good care of my husband. I woke up early every day, made his lunch, did all of the housework, then went to work. After work, I even do the rest of the chores. I'm sick of hearing your lame excuses. Unfortunately, my son said that you're not a good cook. He prefers to eat my cooking instead. I see. What do you mean by that? You should say you're going to learn how to cook better for my son. Or you can just ask me to teach you how to cook. It seems that you're not willing to improve yourself to be a better person. I took a cooking class for the sake of my husband. All of the dishes prepared were those I learned from a former top chef. I have no idea what kind of food I should cook for your son if he thought that they didn't taste good. Former top chef? When did you start taking cooking classes? I started right after we got married. And yet my son said that your cooking doesn't taste good. How bad of a cook are you? What? I think it wasn't bad at all. 
Besides, my parents and friends said that my cooking is delicious. Don't you know anything about social graces? How can other people say to your face that your food tastes bad? They praised you because they were trying not to hurt your feelings. I can't believe you don't know that much. Hold on a second, Daisy. That's not fair. My parents have always been vocal about both the good and the bad things. They never sugarcoat anything. And my friends are old acquaintances who don't just flatter me for the sake of it. Oh, please. You're such a noisy woman. Fine, if that's what you think. But let me tell you something. When it comes to cooking, I'll give you a full-blown lesson next time. You'll see. Seriously, Daisy, are you actually serious about this? Absolutely. My son, Bob, mentioned that your cooking leaves much to be desired. So I've decided that I'm going to make you learn my taste. Remember when Bob said he wants to eat my cooking instead? He doesn't want some fancy top chef's food. Okay, fine. I can't deny that Bob prefers your cooking, but you have to understand that I'm working and my schedule has been crazy busy lately. I honestly don't have the extra time to dedicate to cooking lessons. And with my work being so demanding, I haven't been able to attend cooking classes either. Here we go again with the excuses. Always working as a shield. It's really a shame. And I feel genuinely sorry for my son. I can't just sit back and let him suffer. So you need to listen to what you're told. Oh no, I didn't mean to upset you, Daisy. I understand that Bob enjoys your cooking, but I'm trying my best to balance work and our home life. Maybe we can find a compromise or a solution that works for everyone. There will and never be a compromise. All that blabbering is just rubbish to me. So shut up and do what you should do. Hey, Bob. What is it? You complained to your mother again, didn't you? Every time you do that, I get scolded. If you want to complain, why don't you tell me directly? I wasn't complaining, but... But what? My mom is better at many things than you. Huh? Because my mom raised me since I was little, right? That's why her style is so ingrained in me. I was comfortable with the way she took care of me, so I couldn't help it. I want you to do the same. That's a bit... disgusting. What do you mean by disgusting? Don't be rude. You're just a mama's boy. That really is disgusting. I doubt your mother's education. What did you just say? You're the one who couldn't stand on your own. You became a mama's boy because of your mother's education. Huh? Stop saying bad things about mom. So you're saying it's my fault? That's right. It's your fault that you don't listen to mom. You're always taking your mother's side. You don't care about me, your wife, do you? I didn't say that. No, you say that all of the time. You don't take care of me because you're too busy working. It's your fault. How dare you say that? You have no idea how much I take care of you. Even though I'm busy with work, you don't take care of yourself. You also don't take care of the housework. That's not true. You go back to your parents' house whenever you get a chance. You talk badly about me to your mother, and when you come home, all you do is just laze around. What do you mean? Don't be rude. I'm tired from work. I work hard every day to provide for my family. Don't you think that's enough? Well, if we could live on your income alone, that would be fine. But it's impossible, so that's why I'm working. You're working just because you like your job, don't you? I like my job, but frankly speaking, I'm a little tired these days of taking care of you. Then quit your job and give your all for your husband. We won't be able to make ends meet if I do that. If I could, I would have done so by now. Anyway, will you stop complaining to your mother why I'm the one who gets blamed for that? I'm busy, so I don't want to deal with more troubles. Bob, pick up the phone. I'm still at work. Can you explain to me? About what? For heaven's sake, don't pretend as if you know nothing, Bob. I just got home, and your mother is here. Oh, 
It seems like she has arrived there safely. Glad to hear that. What are you talking about? I've decided to have mom live with us from today. Huh? Why? Why? Because you're always working and never doing enough to take care of the house. Mom's going to take care of us both. I don't understand. Why do you decide such an important thing without letting me know in advance? This is our house. Because you promised mom you'd learn to cook. So if we live together, you can do whatever you want. I didn't promise anything. Your mother just said so herself. I want you to learn cooking from her. You should think about me, Tina. I'm being forced to eat bad food every single day. Bad food? Your food tastes bad. That's why I want to eat mom's food. So why don't you master mom's cooking? Don't you think it's very reasonable to have it this way? I don't get it. Anyway, this is our house, so I'm going to ask your mother to leave. You should tell her about that. Why we are going to finally live with my mom? You should be a little more happy too. Because it's going to be easier for you to do the housework. I wish you'd learn more from mom. I refuse. You two decided that on your own. Mama's boy. What the heck? I'll report everything you say to mom. You're gonna get scolded by her. She's very scary when she gets angry, you know? I'm speechless. I don't think I can deal with you and your mother anymore. I don't know how your mother raised you, that you ended up being a mama's boy. I've had enough. What? Don't turn my mother into a villain. If you talk bad about my mom, I'll divorce you. That might be a good idea. Huh? Why are you being so cocky? Mom's gonna give you a hard time from now on, so you better brace yourself. If you cause any problems, you'll be divorced immediately. Anyway, you're gonna take special training from my mom starting today. So that's how you think? Okay then. You still haven't finished work. Hey, reply to me. Mom is about to collapse from hunger, you know? What are you doing? What do you want? What time do you think it is now? What are you going to do about dinner tonight? Dinner. You have your mother. So why don't you have her cook you a meal? Mom said you were supposed to cook today. Today? I cook dinner every day, didn't I? Is that so? I don't care either way. But come home early and make dinner. Even if I come home early and make dinner, your mother will interrupt me. Huh? Hiding the knives, pans, scattering seasonings all over the kitchen, and so on. What are you talking about? I'm the one who wants to know about that. Your mother acts like a child. It takes me twice as long to cook dinner. Besides... What else? Your mother never came over to our house because she wants to teach me how to cook, right? Well, it's not just cooking, but also household chores in general. For your information, your mother never cooked even once after she came to our house. What? She has never done any housework, let alone cooking. That's impossible. Mom said she'd make sure you're thoroughly trained as a good wife. I'm not a housekeeper. Your mother is just lazing around every day. That can't be true. I'm getting calls from her every day, and she reported about what she instructed you to do. That's only her one-sided story, isn't it? She never did a single chore. Also, she never taught me how to cook. That's a lie. Why do you speak so ill of my mother? She's trying so hard to make you a good wife. Why are you always so defiant? I told you before, if you speak ill of mom, I'll divorce you. Then divorce me immediately. What? Have you finally lost your mind? Your mother didn't only force you to let her live with us, she's also using up all of our savings. Are you kidding me? You gave your mother a joint savings card, didn't you? Yeah, because I asked her to put some money in it. Why, huh? She's almost spending all of the money you've accumulated. That can't be true. Then why don't you ask your mother? I was surprised when I looked at the bank account book while I was depositing my money. The balance was only $30. No way. Even if it's your own mother, it's a crime to withdraw money from an account without permission and spend it. We can sue her for theft. Wait a minute. Don't make my mom a criminal. You forced me to let your mother live with us by framing me for a crime I didn't commit. And to top it all off, your mother is using our savings. I didn't know anything about that. 
Just because you didn't know doesn't mean you can just forgive her in the first place. You only believed what your mother told you. You didn't listen to me at all. I'm sorry. I apologize. I can't be together with mad people like you and your mother anymore. I will gladly divorce you. So get out of there, right now. Excuse me? This is my house too. Why don't you just leave? Huh? That's the condo I bought before we got married. Why do I have to leave? Because if we get divorced, we'll have to divide the property. Well, looks like you know nothing about property division. I wonder why your mother didn't teach you common sense. What? Division of property is only valid for property created by the couple after marriage. The condo is not part of the property division because I bought it before we were married. It's common sense, Bob. Then where are we supposed to live? Do as you please. Why don't you just go back to your family house? That house is gone. What? You've got to be kidding me. Mom sold it to move in with us. No one told me about that. What happened to the money she got from selling the house? I know nothing about that. Mom said she was going to sell it, so I told her it was fine since she was coming to live with us. Are you guys out of your mind? If you sell the house, there will be thousands of dollars coming in, right? How come? Are savings dwindling in spite of that? I have no idea. I can't believe you just said that. I really can't keep up with you people. If I stay together with both of you, my condo is going to be sold too. Just get out of the condo. Don't say that. We have nowhere to go. I don't care if you say that now. You let your mother move in with us on your own. Didn't you do something about it yourself? I didn't know she was having financial problems. Seriously, why didn't you talk to me about all of this before you moved in with me? I just did what mom told me to do because I've never made a mistake whenever I listened to her. That's why I got married to you. Huh. You got married to me because your mother told you to do so? Yes, that's right. You have a good job and you don't seem to want to quit. Mom told me if I got married to you, my life will be easier. What kind of reason is that? So what about the marriage proposal you told me at the time? That was mom's idea. She made me memorize it the day before. Gosh, I wonder, why did I marry you? I am sure gonna regret that decision for the rest of my life. We're a married couple, so you'll reconsider, won't you? I don't have a place to live. I can't support my mom on my income alone. You're going to have to work with me and help me. You really are the worst kind of mama's boy. Your mother is quite crazy and you're just the same. I can't do this anymore. Don't say that. Just come home as soon as possible. You've got to be kidding me. You're creeping me out. I never want to see or talk to you guys ever again. Anyway, you have five days to get out of there. I already put that condo on the market. What? No way. Why did you do that? You should have discussed that with me in advance. How dare you say that? You decided on your own to have your mother move in with us. This is what happened as a result. Yes, but you can't just sell the house like that. The house is in my name. I paid for it. What I do with it is my business. Besides, I'm not going to live with your mom who spends people's savings without their permission. I definitely don't want to live with you two. Don't say bad things about mom. Okay then, I'm not so sure. I wouldn't speak ill of your mom, so why don't you talk to my lawyer from now on? Lawyer? You're seriously going to divorce me? It's obvious, isn't it? I told you a while ago that we can't stay together. From now on, you're going to listen to my lawyer and proceed. Then, get out of my condo within the next five days. The contractors will start coming in six days from now. Oh no. What are we supposed to do from now on? I don't know. Anyway, I don't want you to have anything to do with me ever again. If you and your mother dare to come close to me, you'll have to talk to my lawyer first. If you don't do that, maybe I'll call the police. Look, Alice, please don't do that. Don't just shut me out like this. We're in this together, and I need you to help us find a solution. If it means asking mom to leave, I'll do it. I'll do whatever it takes to make things right between us. Is that okay with you? No, Bob, it's not okay. I can't handle being with a mama's boy like you anymore. 
So why don't you just spend the rest of your life pampering your beloved mother instead? But don't worry, I'll make sure you pay the alimony and reimburse the money I've saved from our joint account. Alice, I can't just magically come up with the money. My mom has been spending most of it and I'm left in a tough spot. I wish things were different, but I don't have control over her actions. I don't think I can continue having this conversation with you. It's clear that we're not on the same page, and it's just causing more frustration and hurt. Well then, take care of yourself and good luck with everything. Alice, wait! Please, let's not end it like this. We've been through so much together, and I don't want to throw it all away. Can't we find a way to talk through our issues and find a resolution that works for both of us? I still care about you. And I believe there's a chance for us to make things right. Bob, it's not that simple. We've reached a breaking point, and it's hard for me to see a way forward right now. I need some space and time to process everything. Maybe in the future, we can revisit this conversation and see if there's a chance for reconciliation. But for now, I need to take care of myself and focus on moving forward. What? No! You can't do this to me, Alice! After that, the divorce was successfully finalized thanks to the lawyer's discretion. Bob and Daisy, who had no place to live and no money, seemed to resist the divorce, but the lawyer urged them to sign the divorce papers. There is a record of a line between Bob and his mother. The time of the money withdrawal coincided with the time of Daisy's appearance on the security camera at the bank, so I was able to file a claim for alimony the money I saved is firmly incorporated into the alimony. My mother-in-law seemed to be addicted to gambling. She seemed to have poured a lot of money into it in a short period of time. And because of that, she was in financial trouble. It seems that she planned to move in with us this time because she was in need of money. Stealing other people's money to gamble is just unforgivable. I felt a little sorry for her son who was raised by such a mother, but I guess he'll just have to accept it. I heard that they are now living together in an old and cheap apartment. Bob's income alone is not enough to make ends meet, so his mother yells at him every day. She was also thinking of having Bob work a part-time job after his main work. I wonder how long can Bob, who loves his mother so dearly, can he endure that kind of torture? Anyway, I sold the apartment I was living in, then I bought a new one-bedroom apartment near my workplace. It is spacious enough for one person, and I am satisfied with it. I would like to devote myself to my work in this comfortable apartment for a while.